From RevenueCentral.com, I'm Clay Miller, and this is The Extra Point. Today, I am joined by Clayton Connick, who also works at Bama Central, and we're going to discuss a little bit about the Alabama women's basketball team. And so, Clayton, they started the year on a very good note in non-conference play, and they kind of hit a bump in the road now coming into conference play. So talk about a little bit about what this team's strengths and weaknesses are and what we've seen from them lately. Yeah, uh, like you said, they started out really strong. They had a seven-game win streak there in non-conference play uh, over the month of December. Um, and then getting into conference play, I mean, as it is with most SEC sports, it's it's a it's a tough schedule. It's tough sledding. So, I mean, uh, number seven, Tennessee, and they've got number one, South Carolina, heading heading ahead. So um, Alabama's just they, – they had some COVID issues. Um, Fell to fell to Florida um, in a game where they didn't have starting guard Hannah Barber, um, but Alabama has relied on the three point shot a lot. Uh, Brittany Davis, uh, Hannah Barber, Megan Abrams uh, leading the way for Alabama in that. Um, and down the stretch, they've they've found some role players. Uh, Kyla Wade Warren has stepped up in a big way off the bench. Uh, she's really coming into her own here lately. Um, so yeah, a lot of a lot of bright spots, and um, you know it's it's a tough league to play in, but uh, Alabama's got a lot to look forward to. For sure. And so, you know, they are coming off a, a big win at Auburn and, and or against Auburn and they swept them on the year So talk a little bit about what to look forward to at the end of the year and some of the players that have really impressed you and who are kind of, you know, the driving force behind this team. Yeah, like I mentioned, I mean, those those veteran guards, you know, you have Brittany Davis um, who missed last year, you know, having her daughter Brielle, um, really inspiring story. But Hannah Barber, uh, Megan Abrams. The, those girls, they, I mean, they, they lead the way for Alabama, no doubt. Um, they're, they're lights out from three, and, you know, they're going to take this team as far as it'll go. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's not going to be an easy road for the rest of the season. Obviously, they were excited to sweep Auburn. Um, you know, those are the, the, but those are the only two SEC wins that the Crimson Tide has on the year. Um, so, I mean, looking forward, they've got Missouri this Sunday, uh, a, a really strong Missouri team. Um, and then following Missouri, they have number one, South Carolina on the road um, next Thursday. So, you know, it's, it's not going to get any easier, but those veteran guards, um, they're, they're going to have to step up and uh, lead the way as Alabama looks to close out the SEC schedule uh, in a strong way. For sure. And, and as you said, they just came off a win against Auburn. They'll play Missouri on Sunday and then a really tough game against the number one team in the country against South Carolina next week. Clayton, thank you so much for joining me today. Once again, for BamaCentral.com, I'm Clay Miller, and this has been The Extra Point. Thanks, Clay.